Hey, it's the Midnight Rowan, and today we are doing a, another wedding inspired um, opening. This time it's from Pure Invitations. Um, I have already done a Pure Invitations one, um, but this is Pure Invitations with a difference. These are basically DIY invitations that they sell. Um, they do some of the uh, invitations and then you finish them off kind of thing. So this is Pure Invitations. Um, I have done a pure invitation one where they already do all the invitations and they do everything for you. This is kind of a DIY style one. So we've got loads of paper here. So it says, I don't have a creative bone in my body. They were amazed when I told them I made them myself. So basically this is um, a way of doing them yourselves. Um, everything perfectly coordinated, um, print your inserts um, and everything else. There's loads and loads of information. I won't bore you with all that, but that's just the kind of gist of um, how um, it goes. Um, I had all my DIY wedding potationery. Um, prices are set to rise in February the 1st. They are going up uh, by 10% across the entire site. So there is a price hike coming. I got three different ones to try. So what you get is you get three different packs that I chose. Um, they send you some tape, apparently, some tape in there. So the first one is the Laurel Tree Laser with Ribbon. Um, the laser cutout colour is pearlized light grey. The insert card is pearlized pearl ivory. The ribbon colour is cream satin um, and uh, these are invitations that you make yourself, although this one looks fairly complete. So you have the little RSVP card and you have the little envelope. You have the guest information card, uh, which you can give things like details of accommodation, map, um, anything you have wedding request wise. Then we have the actual invitation, which is this. This is the insert invitation, which is kind of cute. So you have all the details of, um, you can choose the colours and everything and the style and how it's written. Then you get the actual invitation outer, as they call it. Goes like this, kind of cute. Get the little ribbon. You get the envelope. And you have a little gem, which I believe goes in this one. Uh, I'm not sure. It might go in one of the other ones, but we'll put it to aside for a minute. So the idea is, you then take your card, put it in the inside. Use the double-sided tape to tape the card in the middle. You can then use the RSVP to go in there, which goes in that one. The guest information then goes in the front. And then take your ribbon. You can then tie it closed. In a bow or something to that effect. Um, obviously you do a better job than me because I suck at tying bows um, but you get the gist. So the idea is it would go like this and you tie it so it would close and then the jewel I guess would go there or you'd stick it to the ribbon so it would go like this and you'd have a bow obviously because I suck at tying bows, um, but it'd be like that. And you basically, instead of having them tie it, stick it all in, you do it yourself. So that's kind of the idea behind it. Um, it is cheaper to do it yourself. Um, if you want to pay more, you can have them do it for you. Uh, you do have the option of having them do it. The second one is the laser, is the Oscar parcel. 
This has a black satin ribbon, um, black glitter, um, and this option was to make it myself, because I'm crazy. <laughs> so this one has a black theme. So I'll show you the things. You have the backing card, you have the invitation, which obviously goes on the back, like that. You have the invitation card once again, and you have the little RSVP card that comes separately. So the idea with this one is you take the ribbon and you tie it across the front of your card like this. If I can get it in the right place like this. with the jewel on the front, like that. And then you have this, which holds it all together. So you do either a band at the bottom, like this. <laughs> so basically you band that at the bottom, or you can band it at the top, and then you tie this round the middle, and then you have this in the middle, so it kind of goes like this. So you get my picture, you can't have that in the middle. And obviously you assemble it all yourself again. And then you have the little RSVP and you have the envelope. So that's a different option, um, a different colour as well. And um, you get these little beady type things to stick on them to give them a bit of glitz. Look at my info. And then the third eye choice, um, there are loads and loads of choices, these were just the three that I picked. And then the third one is the Regent parcel which has a white satin bow, black glitter detailing cardboard and again I chose to make it myself because this is a DIY one, so you get the RSVP card that you get in every single one of them. This time we are going for a bit of glitz and glam. So this time, as I throw stuff on the floor, we have a black kind of card. We have a glitzy card. We have the wedding invitation. And we have the guest invitation. And then we just have a classic white satin ribbon. So the idea of this one is you can stick the wedding invitation on the glitz. You can then use the backing for your guest invitation or you can use both like this on one card. So you have the glitter and the blackboard on the same one or you could use one on this and use that on the guest one and then the guest one is then put in and then you just tie a ribbon. This is like the more subtle um, simplistic cards. Okay you've got the detailing of the, the glitter as well that you can also use and then this one is just a simplistic one where it just has a tie. Obviously it'd be better than that because it'd all be stuck. You just get the tie rather than having the gem and all the glitz, but obviously you have a little bit of glitz because you have a gold, sort of glittery gold black border. And then obviously you'd stick that in there as well. And you would then have a whole type of parcel like that and then you'd stick it in the envelope. And then you could tell all your friends that you made your own cards. So the bits obviously you don't make are the, the cards themselves. They can already come in this little bag. Um, and obviously you just tie the bow and stick them all down. Um, it's cheaper, obviously, um, but if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, um, then maybe pay the little extra and have them make them for you if you want them to look like 100%, you know, 
but I did pay a pound to have them shipped. So the actual things themselves were free. The only thing I paid for was the pound shipping, because um, obviously um, I was already getting these samples for free. So there was a pound shipping. I will put that in the description below. So this again was from Pure Invitations. So the other day I show you invitations that were actually made by them and uh, these are the DIY wedding samples that you can do yourself. So if you haven't already, I'd love for you to like subscribe to my channel. There is a wedding playlist if you want to check that out where it showcases all the different um, wedding and confetti um, invitation ideas that I have gathered so far. I am gathering more and more each day. If anyone knows any other ones that I haven't already done. So if you want to check out any more of the wedding halls, um, there is an entire playlist. Um, and this is the Pure Invitations DIY cards. I've obviously shown you the ones where um, they make them. This is obviously um, the cheaper option. Um, but if you have like 100 guests, it's up to you whether you want to make 100 of them yourself. They do give you a tiny little roll of tape as a sample. Obviously, you would get more if you then did them. I mean, I could have made the cards and then show you them, um, which I might do for another video. I might actually make them and show you the finished articles. So, if you'd like to like and subscribe, that would be awesome. You can check out all my other ones in my playlist. So I will see you very soon for another wedding haul opening invitation video slash DIY. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.